Okay, so going into turn two, we both picked our orders. Yep. What have you got, Ben? I've gone for the Return of the Jedi. What is that? So it's a special Luke Skywalker order. Oh, yeah. Um, so I get to order Luke and two units. And then when Luke Skywalker is issued, in order, he gains a dodge. dodge token. And then when Luke Skywalker activates, each friendly trooper at range one to three may remove a suppression token. Oh my god. So what I'm worried about now is my troopers are about to be flanked and shot at, but then when Luke activates, he'll go, don't worry, the Jedi are here. And then they'll all regain their spirits. You should be worried. I'm playing implacable. Darth oh. Vader. At the end of Darth Vader's first activation, he may suffer one wound to shuffle his order token back into the pool, so he gets to act twice, potentially. Ow. And also, because I rolled, I you've, got, I got you've a lower chosen number. A, a higher priority. You've got priority one, I've got priority three. I get to, to, to have him have a priority. So you're going to take the first turn. I, I get, will. I get Luke and both. So the, the, the way these orders have panned out is you get to go first, but I get complete control over when my troops activate. Yes. Because I've got these three have all got their tokens down, and there's only one token left, so it's not even a random one. You can choose to do them at opportune times. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see how this pans out. Well, let me let me take my first go with Darth Vader then. <laughs> right, you're just gonna go straight in. <laughs> well, he might as well. I think that's how that's how he should act, right? Yeah. Okay, so Darth Vader moves one. Mm -hmm. He's gonna just j climb over these boxes because. Yeah. Oh, hey, I, I it, prefer to think that he just uses it, the force. He pushes them aside. Like, <laughs> that is actually way cooler. <laughs> That's how we do it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So he goes forward one, um, and I think that will put him within range one of Luke. Yep, that looks good to me. Okay, and that means that he can use a thing, an ability called Force Push. Use an enemy, oh no he can't, he can only use it on an enemy trooper. Oh is, yeah, is Luke yeah. A trooper? trooper just means like infantry. Okay, well in that so case, Luke is a trooper. he's gonna pull, he's gonna grab Luke, yeah. and pull him towards him. He's gonna try to so he's even got his hand out, ready to do it. So, come, come get over here. <laughs> he's gonna pull him into a, a whole range, into a melee range. I assume base to base um, is melee? So the rule, melee? you can't go into base to base unless you're like doing a charge action. Okay. So what would actually happen is you'd pull him to like Close there, enough. And then um, for your the, the pull is is a free action. Yeah, but you have to exhaust that card. Mm. So that gets that gets tapped. Mm -hmm. Now and I have an ability called Master of the Force, which means I can untap one of my one of your Force powers. Can you can untap for free at the end of the turn? Yes. Other than that, tapped cards don't refresh until you take a rest action. I see. So if Luke tries to use lots of Force powers, he gets tired. Yes. So that was my. So I took. I moved. I did a free action to pull you closer. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move again. Yeah, and charge into combat. And I'm going to. And normally, um, with with Vader, he has an ability which says, "Perform a move action. You may perform a free attack action." Yeah. So, so I'm actually going to get a free attack off. You on come you. in swinging. I do. So you put a defense token by. I did because um, my Return of the Jedi card. But you haven't given him an order yet. No, no. So um, oh, when he's so when I give order. him his token and say you can be activated whenever I want you to be. That's when he gets the dodge token. Oh, I see. And then when I activate him, which is when he takes his go, the friendly troopers remove their suppression. Right. So he has got a guard straight away. So yeah, you, he was you on... saw this coming. <laughs> yeah. He thought, well, I didn't know if Vader was going to attack him or if the stormtroopers were going to shoot him. You knew him. someone was going to shoot him. He was Luke. definitely going to come under attack. So yeah. I got him to, to summon all his Jedi strength. Right. So Vader gets to roll six red dice, which is quite a lot of and red the, dice. And the red dice are the best dice. They're, are they all the black dice the best? No. No, no the red dice are the best. are the best. Yeah. Uh, impact three, pierce three. I don't know what those mean then. So impact three means you can turn three of your hits to crits. Oh god. And pierce three means the first three shields I roll are discarded. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you're ready for this, Ben. Nope. Not at ben. all. That's a burst, which doesn't actually no, convert has no surges. So I need to roll three more dice. So you've got one hit. And that's two hits total. Cool. Well, that there you go. Pretty, that was pretty, pretty poor rolling. Pretty poor rolling two for Vader. Hits. But, okay. you know, I think Luke's still being pulled towards him. And he's, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> stop me. He's not really hit his ground yet, you know. No. And obviously, like, you're not trying to kill me. You're trying to capture me and turn me to the dark side, right? Exactly. So I'm going to spend my dodge token. Yep. To, um, to remove one. To remove one of those. And then I make a save on a red dice. Bam. Nope. So I take a wound. One wound. One wound. How okay. many wounds does Luke have? He starts with six, which is that green number there. Okay. Uh, so he's got five wounds left. Okay, cool. And because I chose to do implacable, yes. Vader's activation, he gets shuffled back in. You have to take a wound to do that. Yeah. So he summons the dark he side of the, the dark force. Side. He takes, oh, he takes a wound. That's not great, is it? It's not ideal, but you know, he, Vader starts with eight. 
Hopefully. So he can take a couple. Hopefully he'll do more. So he did. I'm kind of doing like one wound and taking a wound. <laughs> yeah. I killed a rebel trooper, but lost a guy. Yeah. I did a wound to loot, but I lost a wound. So it's not going great. Um, right, so I'm going to, um, those guys who Vader's next to, I'm going to shoot them with my guys. Okay. And I'm going to give them an aim token. So you're going to aim, aim and, and shoot. Aim. My first action is to aim, gives okay. me the aim token. Yep. My second action will be to shoot. Um, and I may or may not use the aim token. We'll see how it goes. Okay. So Rebel Troopers, they roll a black dice each, and the minigunner rolls six white dice. Okay. So we'll do the white dice first. Yeah, go for it. Ba -ba 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 -bam. It's one hit, but I get another three. Two hits. Is that two crits? Two crits, actually. but you're not in cover and you're not a vehicle, so crits are kind of irrelevant. Right. Um, and then four black dice. Uh, they do not get surges for accuracy, so that's just one hit. And then I've got a fourth one, which is also a miss. So I've rolled three hits so far, and now I can spend my aim token, which I'm going to do. And the aim token allows you to re-roll two of your missed dice. Okay. So I'm going to re-roll the two black dice that missed, because they've got a better chance of hitting than the white dice. Uh, still missed. Oh dear. Not very effective aiming. Oh well, I landed three hits on you. Okay. So you Stormtroopers have got red armor. You Bam. get to try and save it. Two saves. Two saves. Oh, it's the same wow. defensive, defensive armor as your guys. <laughs> Two hits. So you take a um, suppression token and you can choose one of your Stormtroopers to get hit. This guy, I'm sorry. Nah. He's unlucky. He was on the flank. He got picked off the side. Okay. So that's your go. That's my go. All right. So my go, mm -hmm. I get one off the top. Uh, it is... Darth Vader again. Oh, I was real banking on it not being Vader again. So, <laughs> oh my god. Obviously, I'm gonna just attack for my action. Yep, it's gonna swing, swing that saber. Um, I think I only get to do one action basically, which is that attack. So I will just do that. Although, I guess I've got two actions technically. So can I use one of my cards? Can I like throw you, a saber? You can use a free action card. Right. So you can do the choke. Oh, I see. This, I see. Saber throwing is counted as an attack action. Yeah. So I can choke someone. Mm -hmm. Choose an enemy trooper within range one. I haven't. There is. There is none. I can't choke any. Can, so it, not be, my, can it not be Luke? Uh, no, not a commander. Uh, okay. So I can't choke you, Luke. He's only. He can resist. He it can in resist the, the choking. But, right. but you can choke but a chump. Chumps can't handle it. <laughs> right. So let's roll my attack dice and just 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 start swinging away. Bam. Uh, three Ooh, hits. Three hits. That's and what I wanted to the see. Next round. And, and a crit. crit. Four hits. Okay. Ouch. Okay, I've got no tokens left this time. Um, so I've just got to roll my defense dice. All right. Uh, that's two. That's two. And two blocks. And another oh, one. Oh my god, so one gets through. I'm wounded again. Two wounds. But whew, he's deflecting there's most a, of them. There's a lot of dodging going on. <laughs> this is pretty effective. Okay. Okay. So that's uh -huh. Darth Vader. Right, so it's my go. Over to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna send this walker in. I'm gonna try and pick one of those speeders off before they can they can get me. Oh, so I take my random one, but I know that it's the walker. I it's see. It's the only one left, and I'm just gonna stomp off over here and go ba 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 bam. So I'm the at speeders. the mercy of random tokens. Whereas yeah. You've got but you had the choice. You, you were able to go first. You managed to lock Luke down. I can't. I was hoping to kill him. You know, with the, <laughs> yeah. with all the swinging that's going on. You've but... had three swings on him now. Like, you th yeah. Oh no, two, two swings, but you know, I was hoping to get more than two wounds. You, you, that guard token did, did work. You have been a bit unlucky. Uh, right, so then the machine gun on the walker gets five black dice. Right on tap. Oh my god, misses with three of them. Next two. One hit, and the speeders being so fast ignore the first hit. They ignore the because they got cover one. Cover one. Yeah. Okay. That was a that was a that was a fantastic climactic go. Terrible activation. Alright, so it's up to me now. Mm-hmm. I will flip a random token. It is a trooper. Troopers. Do I want to activate my suppressed troopers or do I want to activate my other troopers? I think I will. So you haven't actually had a go with those troopers yet this turn, have you? Uh, no, yeah, these ones have been because they've got their oh, token they have been. next to them. Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay. Right, well, okay, I've got two choices. Hmm, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably, I'm not too worried about these troopers over here that you've got to act yet, and Luke's gonna attack Vader probably. Mm. So I'm gonna, Activate this unit here, and I'm going to shoot your rebel troopers. Okay, so, so first I'm, up, because they're suppressed, they only get one um, action. We're going to, uh, to roll a white dice and see oh. if um, the leader can organise them. Which and, white is a diamond or a, uh, like a, a d6? A d6 dice. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get rid of that suppression token. We oh, roll can't. That again. That's not flat. Oh, we can. <laughs> <laughs> you very kindly allow me uh, to if move. It's, if it's not flat, then you know that's, that doesn't count. Well, in that case, I can aim. 
You can yeah. shoot. You can aim and shoot. So let's give them a name, mm -hmm. and uh, we will shoot. So nice. that means we've got our uh, our white dice. How many guys have we got you left? Got, you've got three, three white, white dice, dice and two red dice. And two reds. Okay, you ready? I'll yeah. do it. Here we go. Bam. Taka taka taka. No. So that is a it's crit. Crit. The uh, rifle. I don't think it likes bursts. Oh, uh, well, the heat counts as a stormtrooper. So you look at the stormtrooper. So it's card. actually still fine. So, so that is that is. So these are all hits. Three hits yep. against your guys. And uh, you can spend your aim token to reroll re two, two fails. Oh my gosh! Another hit. Four hits. Four hits. Yeah. That's ouch. a good roll. All um, right then. So you've got to roll some defence now. Okay. I roll these horrible white defence guys. They're nimble. Uh, oh, oh, not nimble enough. And then the fourth one. Oh my god! Blam blam blam! It is blue head dies. Blah. Machine gunner dies, blah, this guy dies. It's just the leader left all on his own. So what's the advantage of leaving the leader alone as you, opposed to the guy with the machine you gun? You have to leave the leader. Okay, oh, I didn't realise. The leader, basically, if... The leader has to be the last member of the team. Yeah, and if you can't kill the lead, like, basically, if, if the only guy you can kill who's in range is the leader, uh, then someone else in the squad gets promoted to be the leader to replace him. Oh, I see, and you just swap the balls around. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they should always be a leader. Field always... promotion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Drop that machine gun and put this hat on. Okay. I like it. Um, and he's a bit sad about that, so he takes a suppression token. Okay. That that was brutally effective. That was way more effective than I expected. Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. Yeah, there you go. That, that aim token got me an extra got me an extra kill. Yeah. Value. So it was worth the re-roll of the cop dice. Yeah, it makes makes all the difference. Oh dear. Okay. Um Okay, my guys in cover over here, they're gonna go next. Okay. Um, flip that over. They're going to go nimble again. That seems to be doing a good job for them. They're going to stay in cover. They're going to stay in cover and take cover and be careful. Okay. And they're going to shoot. Go for it. I'm going to shoot those, those speed bikes. Okay. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to shoot the stormtroopers. Do it. Because I, I do want to kill the bikes, but I just want to put a token on the stormtroopers so that they can't aim and fire their rocket You're launcher. You're going to suppress them. i try and suppress, keep those stormtroopers' heads down. Um, that's, so a good, that's a good plan. So I've got four black dice. Uh, ooh, three hits. Plus okay. the fourth one is a fourth hit. Holy oh my God. crap. And then the Gatling gun needs white dice. Where do those white dice I've go? got them in my uh, hand, Ben. Sorry. Sorry. So four plus uh, the surge doesn't hit for rebel troopers. So that's nothing. And the second round. Also, oh, the Gatling cannon just goes wild and does absolutely nothing. He's not aiming at all. Um, he's distracted by the speeder bike. He's, I think he's just giving suppressive fire. I see. You know, and he's just spraying over there to like, keep their heads down. So they do get a suppression token, I guess. So yeah, you get a suppression token, which was the, the point, and you need to make four saves for the accurate rifle fire. Oh my god. Let's do it. Bam. That, yep. count. that doesn't no, count as a save. No, Stormtroopers don't have a defensive surge. Uh-oh. And the other one is a save. A save. Right, so I, three of them three are dead. Three go down. Oh god, well I'm going to take out three of the, the poor, the poor just randomers here. And leave the rocket launcher leader and dude. All right, and it's my go. Cool. All right. Well, the body count is mounting of the, the, the chump troops, but it seems yeah. like it's pretty hard to put wounds on anything that's just like a little bit more, more sizable. <laughs> yeah. Um, although these speeder bikes do have like impact one on their guns. Yeah, yeah. The cannons on the front of the speeder bikes can so actually hurt that. that if I'm, um, so I'm going to have to do my free move now. Well, um, you haven't ordered the speeder bikes. So you I haven't actually even do, I, can't, I can't even necessarily do that. Okay, let's see what I get. I do get speeder oh, bikes. Oh, you do get the speeder bikes. Cool. Okay, it was lucky. So I have to do. I have to do a move. Yes. And it's movement three. It is. Yeah. They if, are just rocketing if, a lot. And if you crash into anything, you die. What do you mean you die? Have you seen Return of the Jedi when they're driving around in the woods? They can go like really horizontal though, but they have to go. Basically, you, you're going to have to go forwards wherever you end up. So I guess like I want to make sure that wherever I end up, I can go forwards. Can I crash into a person? Uh, yeah, and that actually suppresses me. <laughs> okay. And I move out of the way. So I can just crash in, like just yeah. drive around. You can just barge me out of the way and I'm like, oh no, and I jump out of the way and I take a suppression token. Okay. Boop. Um, and then I can put him into contiguity yeah, with him. Yeah, just, just have him like sit behind. behind. Okay, and now they have two actions. So you could aim and shoot, or you could shoot and then move again and zip past me, or... Um, oh my gosh. I could just keep zipping options. around and smashing you out the way. Um, and then I might shoot these, this, this, this guy in the back if I can. Oh, if I can get yeah, a nice get, your, arc on get your impact cannons on. Yeah, so I might see if I can shoot your... Because these guys are in cover. I'm giving them like a... I'm buzzing them. Well, I'm out of the cover now. Like, you've, you've, you've flanked the cover. 
Yeah, but look at this. Look at this move I can do. Yeah. So I can actually kind of go like round here like this. Yeah, let me get that token out of the way. Bam, I think it's to about there, probably. Seems, seems reasonable, doesn't it? Yeah. And then, and then I can just guy, about just like see him behind. you're back with my front. Yeah, you're oh, But it doesn't so. really matter that I'm shooting you in the back. That doesn't actually change your armor. No, they run that. the ATST, you know, like the big chicken walker the Imperials have? Yeah. That has a rule where if you hit it in the back, it's, you do more damage. Okay. Uh, but this one doesn't. So I'm going to just shoot at you, I think, straight away, because, you know, I'm going to need to kill this thing at some point, and I don't want to lose all my heavy weapons before yeah. that happens. Makes sense. So I get um, one of, it's the, the rainbow dice, it's one of each color, mm -hmm. um, which is always, always nice. Oh, that looks like quite a cool shot, actually. They just like buzz past these guys, whip around the back, start opening I fire. I like that. It's cool. Let's roll these. Okay, oh, so that is two hits. Well, you should have aimed. I should have aimed. Well. <laughs> oh, well. So normally, those two hits, they're regular hits. They wouldn't hurt my armored walker. No. But you have the impact rule. Impact one. So each one, each bike has impact one. Yeah. So effectively, you have the rule impact two. Okay. Because you get one for each bike. Right, so I've managed to get one so, off from one bike and one off from the yeah, other bike. Exactly. So each one of those can be turned into a crit. Let's do that. So they both damage me, and I have to make my, um, um, your my armor save, which is not so hot. Uh, well, I make one of them. Though. So one gets through and I take a damage. How many damage does it have? So the walker has six, okay. but also it has this value four underneath the six. And that means once I've taken four damage, you critically damage something on the thing. You might blow its weapon off, you might disable its legs or something. Okay. So once it gets to four hits, it becomes a lot worse. Okay, good. That's good to know. Okay, so, so now it's your now go. Now it's go, and I just have to use Luke. Yeah, you've only got Luke left. But I saved him for last from, on purpose because now I can trigger my Return of the Jedi. When I activate Luke, nearby no, rubber move, troopers move, move suppression. their suppression. Worth it. Huzzah! Um, and it wasn't really a risk because he didn't die. Yeah. Which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always good when you guys don't die. Um, right, I'm going to use my Jedi mind trick. Go for it, Ben. So I can exhaust this card and choose an enemy trooper at range one to two. That unit takes two suppression tokens. Okay. So I'm going to spook them. Like, uh, do you remember when Obi-Wan Kenobi does that big howl and scares off all the sand people? Okay. I do that. I like get, I, I make them think that like they've left the little cooker on at home. <laughs> and they're like, oh no, did I? Did I? I can't remember. Oh no. And it totally distracts them and now they're suppressed. Okay. So how many <laughs> suppression tokens can they take before they would run away? So normally, um, they would take one to be suppressed and two to flee. Okay. Um, but when they're near Vader, they can use his leadership to determine whether they flee or not. Okay. So it still only takes one to suppress them, but because Vader can't be broken, they can't be broken while they're right next to him. Right. Within range one. Yeah. Of shooting. So uh, they're just they're about there. They're not going to flee when Vader's there. Okay. They're more afraid of Vader than they are of me. Well, he's already <laughs> choked one of them to death. Then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, how many more does he need to choke to death? That's all I'm saying. Um, right. Well, so you I get got? to roll Luke's attack dice. Yeah. Here. Um, well, what I'm going to do? Because I've got two actions. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to aim. Oh, you're going to aim your. Yeah, I'm going to melee. Focus my mind. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. You should have told me that with old Vader. Well, you you had to move. No, I didn't. Not for my second action. Oh, you only oh, got one, one action. Had on. one action for yeah. my second action. I would have mentioned it if it was an option. Um, so, here we go. I get six black dice with Luke. Um, so, I've got two. Okay. Oh, sorry, no. Sorry, one. One hit. And then the second round is one hit. That's a crit, though. And then I'll spend my aim token to reroll two of the misses. Bam. One more, one so more hit. Three hits. Three hits. <laughs> so, I've got nothing that lets me defend any of that. Now, you just so need I to make your armor. roll three... Armor saves. You ready? Mm -hmm. Bam. Oh, he makes them all. All of those armor saves. <laughs> Look at that. Vader's just toying with me. Mm. We're in this duel and he's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, it's, it's kind of it's kind of a three up save actually, isn't it? If you think yeah, about it on the pretty, D6. Yeah, pretty so solid. It's pretty good armor save. So no no damage. These two are just locked in combat. Yeah. Mortal combat. Uh, but I'm, you're chipping away at me every so second So how do you get wins. out of combat? You can withdraw, but okay. I think it takes your whole activation. Okay, so we'll probably that's probably not going to be happening here. This is going to be a fight to the death. Maybe I might have to get out if I start taking any more wounds. Yeah. Not, not well, you've taken. Good. I've taken one wound, which I self-inflicted. <laughs> yeah. In your anger to, <laughs> to get, get an there. extra hit. <laughs> yeah. but it didn't pay off. Um, right, that's the end of the turn then. I think. Oh no, you've got your rocket troopers left. I have got my rocket troopers because, of course, I got the bonus move, um, and of course, that is them. Okay, I will. I will roll those out now. Okay, so they are suppressed. I mm -hmm. will roll the dice to see if they can break it. They can't, which means they don't get to aim. Oh, the that covering fire. Good use of that. It worked. And then I'm going to fire the rocket launcher, mm -hmm. which can only be fired if they didn't move. Yep. I'm going to fire it, of course, at your walker. 
Oh, so it, you have to exhaust it to fire it. I'm going to exhaust it. Right, so it's a cumbersome thing. Yeah. Um, so that means they won't be able to fire it again until they've reloaded it. Okay. Bam. That's good to know, but it does get three black dice. Yep. Plus the two other white dice from just normal, just normal, gener generic stormtrooper fire. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Let's do it. We got a hit and a crit. Mm -hmm. We'll take it. It's a shame we couldn't aim, because, man, that would have oh, really helped with been... re-rolling these two. Yeah. But, um, oh, we'll... so good. That covering fire really paid off. We'll take that anyway. So you've you got to roll two different. You've got the roll dice. impact, impact three. three. So you can turn three of your hits into crits. Well, okay. Which well, we... you need to do, because this guy, the walker, can only be hurt by crits. So is, is that just for the rocket launcher, though? Anything in your dice pool. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, That's which helpful. Is, which is pretty good. So the rocket launcher's like given an extra little, little mini grenade to one of the stormtroopers. Yeah, or I guess it's cracking open the armor so the blast of fire can like... I see. ...get through. Breaching it. That's good. I like that. Uh, so where, so where two crits. What, I what are your white... white you need white. Dice. Go for it. Um, one burst. No, it does... This unit does not have a defensive burst, so it takes two more damage. Okay. So he's now taken... Three uh, damage. Three out of six. He's half dead. That rocket launcher did a good old job. Yeah, I'm really glad I suppressed you. I, I think with the aim, you would have really yeah, crippled me. Yeah, look what I would have got. I would have got another, two more hits. Another two hits. And they would have, you could have turned them both to crits. And oh my god. That would have been sad, sad that would have for been me. Probably two more, two more damage, possibly. Okay. But um, the suppression was the right thing to do, and that's that's why it's good to have these rebel troopers groups, I guess, to, to keep them alive behind that cover the whole game. Yeah. All right. Uh, right, that's the end of the turn. That is the end of the turn. So, All right. um, so we're going to move on to turn three. Turn three. Every unit is actually still alive in some form, which kind of can be interesting, because if that unit had maybe been wiped out... So then I'd have one less I activation. two tokens on there, but I don't run away. So I only clear up one suppression uh, token. Yeah, you clear up one at the end of the turn, yeah. Okay. Um, and the running away only happens when you activate them. Okay, cool. All right, so let's pick our orders for turn three.